Hey and welcome to my art space. Here you can see my current setup. It's right next to the kitchen area and the sitting area here. And we have uh, this mural that I painted myself, which took uh, quite a while. And my table, all my stuff is here. And I tried to put most of my art supplies in this area of the apartment, but I have more. <laughs> And yeah, here you can see the coasters that I painted a while ago. I decided to put them on the wall here and lots of prints on the wall, propagating plants. I love this. It's so magical to create your own plants. Just cut them and put them in water and you will have no new plant. And yeah, I have a lot of prints here that I get from Patreon and other artists and my own stuff. And yeah, a collection of the most basic plants that you absolutely need if you want to have plants and here's my setup and uh, for my camera I have a tripod and this bag with rocks in there and so it doesn't fall over and yeah this is how I'm currently setting up my camera to this day I haven't found a better solution so here you can see some of my brushes and some pens and my favorite sharpener I just love this sharpener, it makes me so happy, it's so much fun and the pencils are super sharp <laughs> and this pen that I got from my parents from Costa Rica, my favorite brush and some other stuff is in there and in these acrylic boxes I have tube watercolors, gouache, stuff like that. I have more gouache but those are just my favorite paints that I have in there and I don't need them all the time but sometimes I do that's why they are on my desk most of the time I'm just gonna grab a white one and put it in my palette but yeah some acrylic I think that was it an acrylic paint or was it a gouache yeah I have some things in there so here in this little bag I have my acrylic markers and I just love them I'm gonna do a video about them very very soon and they fit perfectly into this bag and I have a lot of washi tape <laughs> At this point I think I have too much washi tape and I'm on a washi tape buying ban now because it's getting ridiculous. Here are some of my colored pencils. I organized them by warmer and cooler tones and a compass for when I need it. And here's some miscellaneous stuff like glue and scissors and stuff like that whenever I need those things. And in this little bag I I have even more colored pencils these are watercolor pencils I really love this bag it's so cute uh, windy iris I think was it sent me this one for Christmas at some point and I really love it and I have a lot of markers from different brands. I have a few Copics like this one. I have a lot of Copic Jows, but I also have cheaper markers like these twin markers, just different brands. I just really, really hate Uhuhu markers. Uh, I just hate them. And some white gel pens and stuff. And these mild liners, I used to love them in college. And I have this weird syringe thing that I got in Barcelona and more stuff. I will try to link these boxes in the description box. So I really love these storage boxes. And here on top I have my bullet journal and one of my sketchbooks. And once that one's finished there will be a tour of course. Here's a little sneak peek. And yeah I have stickers on there. These are actually my own stickers. They'll be in my shop very very soon. And there's a holographic sticker and yeah more pens I will link my shop in the description by the way and yeah like I said every little storage unit that I can come up with and 
that I have. Uh, I will try to link it as well. And I will do an updated favorite art supplies video as well. So I'm not gonna link every single art supply in this description box. So here we have this little uh, miscellaneous items container. <laughs> and here we have more of these items and I have my watercolor palette with a lot of stickers on there and this is my customized palette. I put a lot of different brands in there and yeah, I love this palette but I don't use it as often anymore. So here's an overview of the plants that are there. I have a lot more plants in my apartment. I just love plants. And here's this IKEA unit that houses a lot more supplies. I have these Arteza brush pens, some crayons, um, these Oh, leftover watercolors. Let's see if I find something to do with them. More little watercolor palettes. And by the way, I have a lot of stuff. Here you can see some inks. And I collected my art supplies for a while now and I'm doing YouTube now. I've been doing it for three years and brands have started to reach out to me and send me stuff. So that's the reason why I have so many things and I've built it over time. Here's a little pride flag. So don't worry if you don't have as many things as I do. Here's a lot of stuff from Stetla because I'm planning a huge project with them and I'll talk more about that later. Not in this video, but at some point. So here you can see this little tiny chair that I painted and it a little plant sits on it and Here's more stuff from Stella and also acrylic wash. Those are Turner acrylic wash paints and I really like those and I've used them a few times now. And a brush cleaner that I'm quite happy with. Like I said, I will link the products in another video because I'm gonna do a special video about the products because otherwise there are gonna be so many links. And here is a little glass fountain dip pen that I just got. I haven't tried it yet but it looks so sparkly. I also have my Van Gogh uh, metallic watercolors, more acrylic wash. This one is by Holbein. This is my favorite watercolor palette at the moment. Uh, maybe I'll link this one because that's just my favorite one. And yeah, more Stetla stuff. You get the idea. I have a huge project planned and Eberhard Faba watercolor pencils that I've had for a while now and they're fun to use as well. So this is the first drawer and then the second one is for paper type stuff. I have some Arteza cards still left over and I have these colorful papers that I use for Patreon and a little sketchbook here and I recently bought black watercolor paper but I haven't tried it yet. Here's a scrap of text, uh, test paper and bristle board stuff and all kinds of paper, black scraps and another sketchbook because I have so many sketchbook all around the place. I have even more in another cupboard shelf on another shelf and yeah here's the next drawer this is more of a craft type drawer i have a lot of crafting stuff some of the things that i don't know what to do with and yeah i have a lot of stickers because I need those in my life. They make me so happy. Some of those are my own, some from other artists and some are store-bought and I have another sticker album where I have even more stickers and I love to put them on sketchbooks or in sketchbooks or 
wherever I find the place for them and feathers and just random stuff that I can craft with and scraps out of magazines and all kinds of things and here's even more random crafting stuff in this little box and then I also have these beads and here's my stamp making stuff. I have some lino and I, I do actually don't like lino that much. So I've been using those rubber things and I have this little kit. And here in the next drawer, I have more random art supplies. I don't think that this drawer has any specific function. I have t all kinds of palettes in there. I have these stamp pens and I have some crayons and I have alcohol ink pad and then for another project that I'm gonna do I have these alcohol inks and yeah a lot of random things a chameleon marker and here you can see me on my desk that's the way i work if i have daylight i'm just gonna turn on my camera and this is the way it is and then here you can see my lamp that i just got i really love this one and i also have another one on the left side but a very small one so this is my current setup. I will try to link all my equipment as well in case you want to film and check it out. Here's my calendar that I have. I love this one. And here's a painting that I did a while ago and I still love this painting. And yeah. So this is my entire art space. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.